Greetings to all and welcome to the next tutorial of the playlist Massing Hypermesh. In this tutorial again we will talk of the industrial massing. This example is taken from the book Practical Finite Element Analysis by Nathan Sir and his team. At page 107 there is one example for the massing point of view. Uh, there are lots of suggestions to mass component. One of the suggestion is like uh, four holes or we can say near about holes we should have small element size and those elements should be quad only because quad can capture the stress result better than the tri element and as we know the maximum stress is concentrated near about the hole when hole is assembled somewhere so let me start the massing of this component so you can see this is the similar component that given in book at page 107 if you're not aware about the massing process you can go for my previous videos introduction to industrial massing first and second so to assess the auto mass panel you can press f12 from the keyboard otherwise from the 2d page and here you have auto mass options okay so look if i go for mass this component directly it should create some number of element and there are lots of tri element may be create okay so let me choose the element size and element type maybe here the quad element and go for mesh so this type of massing you all may get yeah, here we are having some rotating quad element and uh, maybe some tri element and so on so in industries such this massing is not uh, recommended what they need with the they need proper element near about the hole or we can say where stress is concentrated they need proper element or most probably they need their smooth element flow with quad element okay so this this massing is not recommended at industrial level because this massing may mislead the result when we talk in term of result accuracy so go for delete those element and uh, again i have to go for massing this component so before massing what i'm going to do i'm going to split the geometry so splitting is the main way to create better massing or we can say to create the required massing so you have to make sure where it need to be split so always before start massing you have to check out the model you have to look the model completely where it need splitting and where it need uh, some more geometric cleanup so there is no need of such geometric cleanups actually geometric cleanup may be missing surface and uh, maybe the free edges and uh, so on but there is no need of geometric cleanup but there is need of splitting of the geometry to create a better mass flow especially near about the hole so make sure some standard view likewise okay one most important thing this component is uh, mirror component or we can say symmetric component so i'm not going to match the complete component i'm going to match only the half portion and will reflect those element or to the another half so to do so uh, i have to split and make sure you always start messing from the critical portion okay don't mess uh, don't start messing from the easier one why because if we go for uh, mesh this easier portions they will very easily meshed and when we go for looking the critical component and maybe uh, due to unsplitting or due to improper splitting we are unable to create better element so what you have what we have to do we have to delete those all elements so always start meshing from the critical portion where is component is more critical so you can see if I talk about this half portion, the massing of this portion is critical as compared to these ones. So for that, I have to split this. And uh, as you can see in my previous videos, if you have hole, there are two ways to mess such component. Uh, first is creating washer, and and second, you can create a rectangular split near about the hole and go for massing. Okay. So I'm going to use the second way because the similar massing is given in the book. So what you have to do, you have to go for F8 for creating node or you can assess the same options from geometry and node option. So why node is needed actually? Node is needed because you want to create a split in a proper way. Okay, you can use directly F11 node to node options but sometime it may ha happen like if you select this node and this node, this line may not straight. Okay, another thing if you use this uh, split line to line options, oh, sorry, node to line options 
just go for select node and line yeah this line may be straight but it is not necessary you will able to create the same split on the other side so i am going to select node here and this line here so look the space between hole and these two line is different okay so that's why i'm not going to use these two options but uh, if you uh, know the dimensions uh, or if you have some points where you want to split this this work you can done in the cat geometry if you create one point here to split or you can create split itself in the cat geometry then it will be easy for you so right now i'm not going to use this option just go for an split okay so i'm going to create one node of, on the center of the hole just go for f8 arc center make sure here you choose the line option sometime it is in node options so just go for line here select this line for which you want to create a center node okay one center node is created now i want to translate this node with some distance in this side and this side with the same distance that's uh, i am able to create a split here that's i am able to create a similar split on the opposite side here okay so for translating you have to go for shift f4 translate options select the node if you go for translate this node directly the original node will be translate so what you have to do you have to click on that yellow box and here you have duplicate options okay so duplicate and with some distance yeah uh, make sure your directions whatever required direction is there so right now and the x that i want to create one split here here as well here here so that's why i'm going to select the x direction as well as z direction okay so again go for duplicate the selected node and going for translate in opposite uh, direction with the distance of 20 magnitude okay the total distance is 20 so now I'm selecting these two nodes and I want to translate for 20 magnitude in this direction. So this direction is Z direction. Go for, oh sorry, I am not going for duplicate. So just go for duplicate. Yeah. Okay. And similarly, I want to translate this node here also. So again, go for duplicate and translate. Okay. So instead of quick editing, I'm going to use surface edit option. The shortcut key is shift F9. So I'm using the options trim with surface or plane. Select the surfaces which you want to trim. Okay, one most important thing, if you trim one surface, you have to trim the all connected surface. Okay, so I want to trim with respect to this plane. Here we have one plane. So direction of plane or we can say normal direction of the plane is Z and the base node this one is the base node so one trim is created of course another thing these surfaces i'm going to trim okay i'm not going to trim these surfaces why because uh, i will go for create massing for the half portion and will reflect to the another half so now this direction is c this plane so normal direction is x okay likewise Okay, similarly, I want to split from here, here, so I'm not going to switch the direction again and again. So, in a single time, I'm going to split. Likewise, similarly, from here, select node, split. Okay, so similarly, I'm going to split from here and here also. Select these surfaces and now this direction is Z. Z and this node. Either you can select this node, this node, both are the same on the same plane not same on the same plane select this node okay now splitting is done so now you can start the meshing okay so again uh, where you have to mess uh, you can go for creating mesh from the one corner and it is general recommendation that start meshing from one corner and end at the another corner or end on the another side but if you have such critical component or we can say if you have such holes so it is always recommended to mess near about the hole first okay so the another most important thing that we have to define is element size so how to define the element size so for element size you have to always check the minimum size of the geometry okay so here you can see this or this edge length is the minimum one so if i go for creating two or three element on this edge uh, that edge can be covered by the element so to check the minimum geometry or minimum feature you can go for f4 that is the major options 
so between two point i want to measure just go for two point and this distance is four okay so i can choose element size up to five why this distance is four and why i can choose element size up to five c the minimum element size that we are allowing is around element size divided by 10 so minimum element size we can allow up to 0.5 here or we can say uh, up to 1 here if i want to create more number of element here uh, i did not need to reduce the element size for the whole component so just go for it go for auto mesh panel f12 and uh, select the surface you also can go for some standard view likewise okay select the surface and element size 5 using the first option size and biasing okay these these all options i already discussed in my previous video if you are worried about those you can go for the previous one previous video just go for mesh here okay look this edge feature is not covered by element so what you have to do you have to increase the element density here okay so to increasing element density you can use the first options and uh, yeah up to four five six seven or eight and something okay so i am using here eight element yeah that that geometry is covered by the elements properly okay why i am going to choose the eight element this also i explained in my previous videos introduction to industrial machine first and two basically this edge will be work as opposite edge of these two combined edges okay so whatever number of element we have to decide here the same number of element you have to decide here so here total element will be 4 plus 4 8 and here also we have to decide same 8 element just go for the mesh style options set all make sure the options is map as pentagon why it is pentagon because see this this surface having five edges so that's why this, this surface we are assuming as pentagon so just go for set all set all and go for mass option see how beautifully software is able to create all element as squad and the edge feature is easily covered by the elements if you want to increase the element density in lateral direction as shown in the book you just go for increasing by density options four element five element whatever number of element you want to decide likewise okay so just go for return and similarly you can match the other surfaces also you can go for reflect also okay these element you can reflect here 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 so i'm not going to reflect i'm going to use five element here i'm going to define eight element mesh style set all set all map as rectangle and just go for mesh yeah so very beautifully software is able to define number of elements here five element i am going to define okay again go for the options mesh style set all set all set all and mesh options okay similarly you can go for this five element five element on opposite edges and here i have to decide eight element again go for mesh style set all set all set all nice okay see very beautifully software is able to create a quad element near about the hole uh, you can also adjust the biasing that biasing is nothing if you want to increase element density near about the hole you can just shift those element toward the hole okay so i'm not going to show this feature right now just now go for mass the another surfaces once the criti critical portion or whole portion is matched just go for mass other surfaces okay okay you can select the multiple surface at a time but if you are not familiar with the massing just go for select the single single surfaces or uh, start with the uh, selecting two surfaces likewise okay select the surface mass select the surface mass look if i go for creating only one element here the edge of the fillet surface will not covered by the element so make sure you are going to create here minimum three element okay likewise select the surface mass okay select these surfaces and go for mass here we have three element and here we are created only one element that's why this splitting of the element is appearing uh, just go for here defining as three 
go for the find here three element three element three element okay fine and similarly select these surfaces mesh select these surfaces and mesh you also have to make sure you also need to make sure the connectivity it should be properly connected okay we also go for check the connectivity but right now i am going to mess yeah three element are sufficient but if you want to go for increasing more number of element just go for increase see here not increased yeah now it is increased again go for select the surfaces mess here also select the surfaces mess once you will familiar you can go for select multiple surfaces to the meshing but if it is but if you are not familiar you have to go for selecting the individual surfaces okay see fine good okay select the surfaces and again go for mesh i am going to increase element density here minimum 3 element to cover the edge feature okay so now the half portion is meshed and it need to be reflect those element to the other side so just go for some standard see the mesh flow is quite better and we are going to reflect those element to the other portion so just go for tool page and here you have reflect option select the element which you want to reflect okay if it is uh, not visible what element you are selected just go for change the color of the element see now you have uh, this type of element color and if you go for selecting those element that will be convert into white okay so just go for duplicate duplicate from the original component or maybe the current component i'm using here original component options and selecting the reflection direction i want to reflect along this plane so this plane having normal direction this this is your z direction okay already selected and this is the base node okay and here click on the effect c the exactly element will be reflect to the other half after reflecting those element are not connected make sure if you go for translate rotate scale reflect and those all options those element are never be connected they are look like connected but they are they are not connected so go for shift tab 3 find edges options select the component or you may go for selecting the elements and here go for the preview equivalence if node having gap less than the tolerance value that is the point 01 software is able to connect them okay to know more about the connectivity tolerance again you have to go for my previous videos and go for equivalence so just go for hide the geometries just go for delete your temporary node set tab 2 and clear all and make some view and change the color because the similar color is given in the book so i'm using this color okay so this is how you can match for the industry requirement where stress is concentrated in the component you have to mesh in the proper way you have to increase the element density your mass flow should be smooth your elements should be quad to capture the accurate results etc thank you for listening for more tutorial of the massing as i suggested you in my tutorial you can check out those two links thank you